Hi, hey, Starlets. Starlets. This is... Does anybody know who this is? I have too many clothes on for them to recognize. Oh, can you take your shirt off? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually reformed. No clothes off today. Oh. Sorry. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, if you don't know, which you should know, the camera's up there, by the way. Oh, I was looking at your cleavage. <laughs> Sorry. I know. I know. That's, that's why. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I mean, come on, Starlets. You gotta, okay. you gotta go with this. <laughs> like I said, the camera's up here. Right. There we go. Okay. Hey, guys. So, this is Ronnie, and you may know Ronnie from Bravo's Make Me a Supermodel, season one. And um, he was the runner up. I thought you should have won, personally. And well, I'm not just you. saying that. So, re really, if she doesn't fulfill her duties, like. Right, I'm ready to go. What are the exact duties of a supermodel? Oh, they have a lot. Everyone looks to them to really, like, be an example for the fashion community. And uh, they do have to eat, contrary to popular belief. Yeah, and this bitch can eat. <laughs> just so you know, she can eat. I ordered a whole pizza to myself and, yeah. and jalapeno poppers last night. Pizza and jalapeno poppers <laughs> at 3 a.m. Who ate all of it? She did. Love it. I sat and ate a cracker and a bottle of water. <laughs> the sensible diet. And you didn't digest. No, I didn't. I threw up when I was done. <laughs> so Ronnie is here in Rhode Island this weekend because we are doing a supermodel search in Providence. We are just hanging out in Ronnie's hotel room. It's a nice, it's nice a, it's hotel a, room. You got a nice pad here. Yeah. Is it too cold in you here need, for you? You need to like, is it that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> or do you just want to take a look again? I can't help it. So we're doing a supermodel search uh, at Down City Restaurant, which is right next door. And we're looking to find Rhode Island's next best supermodel. Absolutely. And, and let me tell you, we've been driving around. We have. And there are some pretty I showed Ronnie amazing men. The east the side, the east side of Providence today. For those of you who are familiar with Rhode Island, um, it's where Brown University and RISD, the Rhode Island School of Design are. And as you may know, or may not know, you I've, learned today. You found out today. I've learned today. There are some hotties that go to Brown and RISD. Yes. So we're having a runway tonight. We are. And all the contestants are going to be... Well, they don't know what's going to happen to No, them, do but they? we do. If you guys have watched Make Me a Supermodel, you know the crap that Bravo put me through. <laughs> they had no holds bar about no. making fools out of us, mm -hmm. and usually mostly we were naked at the same time. But these boys tonight are going to be in swimsuits or underwear, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have them go down the runway and do a traditional catwalk. Have with them. cats. Absolutely. Yeah, with cats. <laughs> yeah. There's a bag of cats <laughs> in the hallway <laughs> waiting. But the catch is, the catch is after, that they, after they do their catwalk, the normal mm -hmm. one, we've got some tricks up our sleeve, don't we? Doesn't he have the cutest laugh, too? I like you them really that way. Do. You have the cutest laugh. <laughs> so in preparation for your arrival, I put a post on my Twitter and on my Facebook to all my followers to see if they had any questions for you about anything, really. And we got some interesting questions. Before we get started with questions, I want to know what made you want to try out for the show? I was being a typical artist, living paycheck to paycheck in Chicago, and I had an agent or two that would every once in a while send me some work. Are you a bone? But in the meantime, there's an incredible uh, website called Craigslist. <laughs> I'm sure we all know it very well. And I had my cup of coffee in hand, and I was sitting on Craigslist, and I said, there's got to be something right around the next corner that's going to be my, my thing, it, my yeah. it. And I saw today audition for Make Me a Supermodel. And I said, oh, what the hell? You put some pants on. I put some pants on. I got in the car. Off and you went. Off I went and strutted my stuff for uh, the judges. And now look at you. And and now look. Well, let's ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> so Nathan from Facebook asked, how do you feel when you see pictures of yourself? Well, Nathan uh, from Facebook, uh, when I see pictures of myself, I have to be honest, I'm very critical. And I think I think we're all our worst mm -hmm. critics. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we need to be a little bit less judgmental when we look in the mirror. But I have to be honest, I'm very critical, and I'll be the first person to pick out something that went wrong, either with wardrobe or maybe it's a quirky smile that I did, or maybe my eye was drunk a little bit. <laughs> you know, I'll just pick it out. No, I just that was always the case. It, it kind of is. I think I have that. You know, those bedroom drunk eyes. <laughs> <laughs> can't help it. <laughs> Most people don't know this, but a fun factoid about me is I like to get ready with no lights on. 
because I really... That explains a lot. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, stand up. Show them your outfit. He looks real cute tonight. Oh, I'm wearing the flannel tonight. He's wearing the flannel. Can you see he's, that? He's, he's, he's going for the lesbian look. It's Midwest. You can't take the Midwest out of the... Can we just the show them, please? There's nothing to show, please. really. I haven't, I haven't worked out. Really. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Um, but yeah, I, most people don't know that I like to get ready without lights on. Why? Because... Um, I'm very critical, like I said, of pictures. So, like, <laughs> when you turn the lights, you're like, oh, shit, oh, I gotta change I gotta now. change that shit. <laughs> Andrew from Twitter asks, how many calories can you eat a day, or do you even count how many calories you eat in a day? Well, Andrew from Twitter, uh, as far as your calorie question goes, I really don't count. I Clearly. Used to- <laughs> I used to. After that pizza you had last night, you like you unhinged your jaw and just... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, when I first moved to New York after Make Me a Supermodel, I was very conscious about how many calories I was consuming, and I was at the gym every single day. I actually quit carbs for a, a while, oh. and I was an angry bitch, to be honest with you. And now she just orders a large pizza from her hotel room and jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers. But don't count calories. Just go to the gym. That's yeah. all you need to do. Eat less. Eat as much as you want. Oh, okay. No, really. Eat as much as you want. The most important thing is to start off with a good breakfast because it gets your metabolism going. And actually studies have proven that, especially men, if they don't have a good breakfast, even if it's just a banana and oatmeal, will have a larger waistline. So you get that, you get that metabolism starting in the morning with a good breakfast, and then you eat sensibly throughout the day. James from Facebook asks what your um, favorite photo shoot has been so far. Wow, that's a good one. I know. James from Facebook, thank you for asking about photo shoots. Uh, my favorite one thus far, I mean, honestly, hands down, it has to be my Playgirl shoot because I actually uh, I see. got to be the creative director of it. So I planned the entire shoot. I actually got to bring all of my friends uh, into the project, and uh, we had a blast. We had a, a lot of fun. Uh, I will day. not. I will not be linking to the photos of your playgirl. <laughs> not at, safe for work. Which I have not looked at, to be honest with you. Really? No, I'm a classy girl. You are. Mm, I didn't look at them. I studied them. <laughs> it was. It was very liberating. Hmm. It was very liberating, now, to say the least. Going along with that, there is a question about um, what made you want to do playgirl. Says Trinity from Facebook. Well, Trinity from Facebook, what made me want to do Playgirl? Uh, it certainly wasn't on my short list of things to do ever in a million years. Uh, but I got an email. You know, in... jumping out of a plane. Uh, <laughs> and kudos to you for that. Thanks. That was awesome. Thank you. It's my favorite, favorite YouTube video right now. Stop that. <laughs> it is. You're just saying that. No. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> say it again if you want. <laughs> uh, I had an email one day in my uh, manager's inbox, and... Uh, she came to me and said uh, you may want to sit down for this and I said well what you know she's like well I thought it was a joke at first but uh, a representative of Playgirl wants to uh, talk with you and see if you would do uh, Playgirl I couldn't believe my eyes and I was like absolutely not this is not something I want to do this really isn't something that interests me and then I thought well you know this could be a really great opportunity to one, just kind of like experience something different. Right. I've never experienced anything like it before. And two, um, I've always kind of believed uh, that we should drop our labels. Mm-hmm. And and they do everything very tastefully too. Yeah, like it's not like it's, it's not like you're looking at X tube or something. No, like not at all. If you look at any Playgirl spread, it's very tastefully done. And yeah. and you know, it's it was intended to be f- entertainment for women. And you know, it still is. And gay men and everywhere. Gay men. It's like Lifetime it's Channel. Love, yeah. <laughs> yes. Lifetime. Television for women, gay and men, gay men everywhere. Gotta love me some golden mm-hmm. girls. Um, but, you know, they. I said, you know, this could be a really great vehicle to talk about dropping labels. And they went with it. I pitched an idea about talking about how many labels we assign to ourselves and we assign to other people every day. You know, whether it's the actual physical labels, Mm -hmm. the name brands that we wear and define Mm -hmm. ourselves by, or if it's the labels like I'm Jewish or Christian or black or white or gay or straight. And so, long story short, I just wanted to do a spread that showed that at the end of the day, we are all beautifully vulnerable human beings and when we can cast aside our labels it kind of levels off the playing field like that. and you know we can celebrate each other's diversity and embrace um, just the human experience hmm. 
Well said. I feel like Barbara Walters right now. <laughs> um, what's the most outrageous thing you've had to do for a photo shoot? Besides the fact that the sheep shitting on you. <laughs> <laughs> the most outrageous thing that I've ever had to do for a photo shoot has to be my shoot with Bill Diodato for Make Me a Supermodel. Because how many times do you get to work with your co-model is a snake? And it's an albino snake. Oh, in the water. Yes. <gasps> I, I, I couldn't watch that. I'm captured by the snakes. Let me set the scene. It's 30 degrees out in the dead of New York winter. But you're inside, aren't you? No. 30 degrees, dead of winter, New York, 30 degrees. And we go out to this large field, and there's a huge tank of water waiting for us. The that's water... Just, that's just cruel. ...was not cold. It was lukewarm. But getting in and getting out of the mm. water. And then your co-model for the shoot is an albino snake. Same one that Brittany used in her music video. Well, the, the same exact snake? Same snake. Well, it's the picture, a celebrity snake. The picture that they actually <clears throat> used, you weren't, you didn't have the snake? No, not the one, the all, one that they all, picked. After all that work. I, after all that work. <laughs> and this snake, this snake had an asthma problem. So not only did I have to so submerge to... in the water and open my eyes and be able to hold my breath and give good model face, but this snake had asthma, so it was wheezing the entire time. And I had to go up like every 20 seconds, every 15, 20 seconds to make sure that the snake didn't die. Walker from Twitter wants to know, are the men's models as bitchy as the women? Are the men as bitchy as the women? I would guess they would because they're usually homosexuals. You know, they are very um, high maintenance. Uh, they're you're, you're not high maintenance. maintenance. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I kind of am. I'm particular. Granted, I've only spent 24 hours with you, so... That's I mean. true. No, I think, I think the guys are pretty high maintenance, but uh, they do it in different ways than the girls. I don't know how to explain that, but really they... Um, oh, that kind of makes sense. The girls are kind of catty about it, mm -hmm. and guys are like... Dude, dude, where, where's my hair gel? You know, where's my hair gel? My hair gel. <laughs> <laughs> of all things, they ask where their hair gel is. <laughs> Graham on Facebook wants to know who your favorite photographer is, whether it be somebody you worked with or somebody that you admire. I would have to say my favorite photographer is uh, Victor Skrebnesky. And I say that because Victor, it was because of Victor's work and portfolio that I actually got interested in modeling. Oh. And I have yet to work with him, and I'm really wanting to. Mm -hmm. And I hope I get the chance because he's actually getting up there in age. Uh, Guess what? Victor Skrebnesky. We're going to make this happen. I want to work with you. We are going to make yeah. this happen. He's amazing. It was and because of him that you're doing what you're doing now. It really is. You know, my best friend's mom was his photography assistant. And actually, we were going summers in Chicago. We would go and take care of Victor's mom because she wasn't feeling very well. Okay. And so I would be hanging out with Victor's mom, Anna. And she would bake us cookies. And I would page through Victor's portfolio. And I knew from that point on that I wanted to be a model. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I was a pockmarked, pimple-faced, prepubescent. Well, we've all been there. You know? And it was it was rough, but um, my friend's mom was like, anything you want to do, you, if as long as you, your heart's in it, and you believe in yourself, and you work hard, you can do it. Maddie from Facebook wants to know what your biggest accomplishment is. Ooh, Maddie, that's a good one. That's probably the deepest question so far. My greatest accomplishment, I would have to say, is... Finally, 99% of the way I've overcome my personal orientation or the fact that I consider myself a man that happens to be gay. Again, going back to labels, um, it's really difficult if you assign yourself a label and define yourself that way. And if you get lost in that label, you kind of forget about all the other incredible things you are. And so I think a lot of people do get lost into that label and don't get to explore all the other incredible things that are out there to explore. I finally feel now at 28 years old that I am comfortable in my own skin and if you don't like me, you don't like me, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. And I'm challenging myself to do things outside of the LGBT community and starting to build bridges and foster relationships because I feel we're at a point now in the uh, gay movement, if you will, that if we really want true equality, mm -hmm. um, we have to start being more open ourselves right. and take the first steps in it's reaching gonna, out. It's not going to come by itself. It's not, and, and we can't expect it to. So the last question is, before I ask you some questions, mm -hmm. um, Jessica from Twitter, she wants to know what Tyson's really like. Well, Jessica, that's a good question. He's pretty hot. 
I have to say, oh, yeah. especially in person. Uh, he is... Uh, Melts my oval team. Oh, gosh, he is sexual oh. chocolate. Love me some Tyson Beckford. Uh, he's hot. He's really, really <laughs> hot. Have I established that? Have I established that? Yeah, we'll here. Yeah, oh, right. no. <laughs> Excuse yeah, me. <laughs> Uh, yes, Tyson is an awesome guy, and you know, I expected him to be really kind of like egotistical mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. like really standoffish, but he wasn't. Not at all. That's good. He was really like he took us under his wing, and we hung out, and we just kind of talked about just about anything. He was a very open book, and uh, he was very supportive. And the best advice he ever gave us was, "Don't take it to heart. Take it to the gym." Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions for me? Ooh, questions for Miss Haley Star. Well, Haley, I, I, I do have a question for you. Yes. <laughs> I think my biggest question for you, where did you find the inspiration to decide one day that you wanted to be an entertainer, mm -hmm. a drag queen in particular? Well, I started doing drag as a complete bet. Um, it wasn't ever anything that I thought I would want to do or aspire to do. And I was sitting one day with my really close friend Richard and they were doing some amateur drag show downtown. And he said, I bet you a hundred bucks that you would never do drag. And I was like, oh, okay. So I went, <laughs> went, to, went to the party store, went to my friend's house and borrowed some uh, a dress and she did my makeup and you know, I went downtown and that was that. Didn't think anything of it, that was in August. And then in for Halloween, I went out and drag again. And you know, I just I went to school for theater, so you know, I've always okay. been like in the entertainment, entertaining entertainment, background. yeah. And um, I just was interacting with so many people, and people were coming up to me, and I got asked to do a show somewhere, and it just kind of snowballed from there. And I love making people laugh. That's the biggest thing. Like I love to make people laugh. Nice. Like a smile. Can, I always say a smile can go a mile. Like if you. I'm right there with mm. you. One smile, that's it. Like, that can change an entire person. It's so day. contagious. It is. Especially it, living in New York. Really Let me tell you, living in New York, if you walk down the street and someone actually smiles at you, like, it can make your entire day. Like, you're, like, you're, you're like, whoa. Me? 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 You yeah. Me? <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work. I've been doing drag for seven years now. Wow. And, um... It's a lot of fun. I love it. I wouldn't change a thing. Well, thanks for thanks for joining the Haley Star Show. My pleasure. I'm so, they've been so excited to see you. I love your starlets. You have such a great following. You. I do. It's uh, it's kind of humbling. It's great. But that's because you're a good person. Stop. True. True Stop. story. You didn't know me up until like two huh? weeks ago. But I knew your personality. I knew how you treated people. I knew how you tweeted. You did? Yeah, of course. How did you know? Wait, wait. Before we started talking, you knew who I was. Yes. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just, this is true, this isn't real, I'm, wait, really? Yes. Oh I my god. Really? 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 How? Just on YouTube and stuff. Would you look at that? Right? I wonder who, I wonder what other celebrities know me. Tweet me, tweet my tits, girls. <laughs> I'm still trying to get on Rosie and Ellen, we need to make that happen. Well, you and me both. No. Let's go on together. If I, you'll come with me. All right. It'll be in my contract okay. that you'll be my boy, you'll just say, we'll say you're my boyfriend. Okay. For publicity reasons. Publicity's purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Publicity purposes. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks. Start some scandal. Yeah, well, we don't want to do scandal. Well, we could. No, we like scandal. Scandal sells. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So does sex. Yeah, but I'm done with sex, so we have to move on to scandal. Well, sex on film, you're done with. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, thanks for coming. I'm so glad you're here. Well, thank you. I, we I, have to go downstairs now and entertain everybody for the supermodel search. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Well, thanks, guys. Thank thanks you. for all your questions. Thanks for your support. And if you want information on Ronnie, if you want to like him on Facebook, follow him on Twitter. The yeah. links will be below in the video description. And for stay his... tuned. My next movie is coming out. Yes. In October. Yes. Real Affirmations Film Festival in Washington D.C. Into the Lion's Den. Wow. <laughs> Tweet his tits. Tweet yes, my please. tits. He has a real great tits. I do. Yeah. It's a titty night. <laughs> Maybe we'll get more about it. Oh. Okay. Well, they're wondering where we're at. I know. We gotta, we gotta go. get a we're show going. We're fashionably late. Yeah. So until next time, peace, love, and cupcakes. Mwah. Bye, starlets. That was good. Let's get drunk. Yes, please.